This is what TikTok does to me early in the morning, okay? I am already crying, bitch. My literal for you page will always just be sad humanity videos and sad dog animal videos. Good morning, we are gonna make some coffee right now. And that is simply how I make my morning coffee. Every single morning, I always have iced. I do love me some hot, and I do have my other flavors, Tully's, Pete's, and then just the cold, but ice tends to be my favorite every day. Who is this comfy girl? Oh my goodness. Look at her. She's so perfect. Do you wanna say hi to all your friends? That's a favorite word. <laughs> and breakfast. Okay, so I just got this new concealer yesterday to try. And let me just say, I've been doing a lot of makeup research recently. I'm going to be going to Sephora this week and I'll show you guys whatever foundation or skin tint I pick up. I want to start doing more glowy looks. This is the foundation I've been using for a year. And it's literally so matte. It's not glowy or dewy. And ever since I stopped getting acne, I was not like taking care of my skin, I feel like, for the last like six months. I don't know. My skin is pretty clear. Clear skin for the first time. Like living my life like don't have to do crazy skincare anymore ended up just like not even hydrating my skin and not that it was flaky or anything like that it was just so dehydrated so it was just looking very dull and the color of my skin I mean I don't tan I stay out of the sun I've been using like just matte concealer and foundation and I didn't even care or realize because I was like oh this matches me so well I even said that in my last video but then I'm like wait like I'm just not using products that are good for my skin now and like now I can really get into like glowy foundation and skin tints and stuff so I'm gonna go tomorrow to Sephora and I'm going to pick out whatever skin tint they match me with the best and that I like the best I'm looking at the Ilia skin tint I'm looking at the Beauty Blender bounce foundation skin tint a few blushes and stuff so I'm gonna do like blush that's better suited for my skin tone I'm gonna be changing up my makeup routine a little bit and it's funny because like you guys have been asking me nonstop lately to do a makeup routine on my look that I don't really want to do anymore especially going into spring and summer I'm gonna be doing a little less eyeliner I'm just gonna try to keep it a little more muted and natural but still when I want like that glam look that I've been doing the last like year I will totally still do it for every day like I need something new like I'm ready for something new so I cannot wait to go makeup shopping tomorrow I've been using a CeraVe moisturizer I actually stopped using this like six months ago and that's when my skin started to feel really dry and dehydrated so this is the moisturizer that I use every single day it's not even just for your face it's for your body too <laughs> and then I also use this which I feel like I have to talk about because this has been in my skincare routine this is like the only thing I was using besides cleansing my face every day in the shower for a long time and I kind of felt like this was enough but it wasn't anyways this is the CeraVe skin renewing night cream it works really well it keeps you hydrated that's literally all I use on my face that's all I use besides the CeraVe hydrating facial cleanser I've used that every single day in the shower and it has been a holy grail for my face this is the color light ivory and I'm not gonna do the peach under eye today I mean it's not that serious because we're doing a supernatural makeup look today. We're just covering the bags, which by the way, I am Italian and they're not cute on camera, but I swear it's because I'm Italian. I've always had them. So let's see how this blends out. Let's see if it's really hydrating. I start to look scary. It's like I'm either like dark under eye circle city or I'm like crazy white under my eyes and I don't really know what to do about that. I guess I'm just getting the wrong concealer shades. We're just getting presentable to make a sit down video because I'm going to film a little sit down video right now. I also don't know if I'm over the nose blush, but also it's kind of a vibe, so I don't know. This is Rihanna Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in Bikini Martini. I do plan to get a new blush tomorrow at Sephora. My brows are not brows to like gel up. They're literally microbladed from like 2019, but when I'm lazy, I'll just simply brush them into place. So this is my literally five minute makeup look the look i'm thinking these gold hoops i don't know Ooh, that just reminded me i need to pack jewelry for mexico because i'm not even thinking of the jewelry i want to pack for mexico only the outfits and the outfits are gonna be so cute i am so ready follow me on instagram if you want to see super cute content for me i don't really do like cool travel content so i don't have like cool backgrounds in my photos and i'm so excited to have cool backgrounds in my photos like 
I'm so fucking excited for Mexico. I literally washed my hair yesterday and I blow dried it and it wasn't oily at all, but the ends were still wet. And then I braided it and slept on it and didn't blow dry the ends. And they say to like never do that. And it looks super oily now. I didn't even put hair product in. I didn't even put like hair oil or any of the stuff that I normally do. So I'm like really confused why my hair looks oily, but I'm just gonna deal with it. And I gotta wash my hair again in a few days for our trip. Anyways, I'm gonna get to filming. I'm really loving the natural makeup on me. Okay, but this makeup literally took me three minutes. So if I really tried and once I get a skin tint and you know, maybe try a little bit more, I'm kind of living for the natural look. I think I'm definitely gonna be doing this in Mexico since we're just gonna be chilling on the beach. Like I wanna be like natural sun kissed on the beach vibes. I'm living for this look and I'm also living for these hoops. She is just in her grown mature era and I'm here for it. Do we like it? I don't know. Goods have been acquired. So I've got a caramel macchiato. It looks so good. We both got largest because we are caffeine addicts right now. And I got a sugar-free vanilla latte. And then we got Callie's pup cup. <laughs> Finally got her to eat it. Seb got us a bunch of new stuff for the trip and this is our tumbler so we're gonna bring this to the all-inclusive and he said that they literally will just put the drinks in here and it'll keep it cold or hot all day so I think that's sick alcoholic or not and this is Seb's and then he got these for the pool I'm dying they're like little donut <laughs> floaty cup holders and then he got us passport holders we just got our passports for the first time in our lives except I had one in seventh grade and I never used it look at our passports you guys I'm so excited we've never traveled so this is the first time. This is mine. I don't really know what it's for, but for carry-ons or something. What is this? So this is to blow up these. This oh, is like your I thought it was like jello shots. <laughs> and then these are little floaties for the pool. I'll definitely show you guys when we get them up and ready in the Mexico vlog. It's gonna be so cute. This is the start of packing. I think we're still about a week out. We leave in about a week. From when I'm filming this, but when you see this, I know it'll only be like a few days till our trip. So Seb has all of his stuff right here. Seb got a new suitcase set too. I'm like, bro, you are going ham, but it's all really nice stuff. We're gonna share this one for the trip. It's gonna be like our checked in bag, I think it's called. I literally never traveled. I don't know the words. These are so cute. Luggage tags. He got his airplane pillows, bitch. The pink is mine. He got me pink everything. He picked this all out. Seb has style. Okay. We even have sunscreen and he got two on accident. So we are stocked up on sunscreen. Not gonna get sunburnt. <laughs> well, TikTok has got me again. This dog was a service dog and she flew on Southwest Airlines to like help connect veterans to service dogs or something which she did it 250 times throughout her life got cancer and that was her last flight and I'm blubbering like a motherfucking baby we don't deserve dogs like dogs were trying to warn people in the streets of Turkey before that terrible earthquake happened sending so much love to them that is so crazy rest in peace to everybody that passed that is heartbreaking so scary like natural disasters are the fucking worst because no one could do anything to stop them you know but like the animals sensed it before it happened and like tried to warn people he literally was letting off like a siren sound like non-stop in the streets like right before it happened We're just gonna deal with the dishwasher sound. Okay. I'm so sorry. Good morning So last night, this is Wednesday Tuesday night. I went to Sephora to Get some new makeup products basically just a new skin tint and I wanted a blush when I got there I tried on a bunch of different skin tints I put them on my hand I put them on my face and some of them just didn't have a good shade to match me because with skin tints They only have like 10 shades because they're supposed to be sheer and like pretty much like blend into your skin So they don't need a bunch of shades But a lot of them were just like super off and like weren't matching me at all I try on a shade of the Ilya skin tint. It was pretty good I tried it on my hand. It looked perfect and I put it on my face You could tell it was kind of like whiting me out a little too much and I ended up going with one that didn't match me at all I didn't get to check the undertone of it. I'll put a picture on the screen I had the Ilya skin tint in the one that I bought in the wrong color and then I had summer Fridays on the other side and it looked a lot better but it was still too light for me the summer fridays one was the first and the lightest shade and like i'm just not the first and the lightest the shade ranges like that the second one is too dark or the third one because there's only a few to choose from so 
it jumps really like heavy in pigment each shade you go down so Ilia was the most glowy though the most dewy and the prettiest to me so I'm really happy about it but I got the completely wrong shade and Sephora isn't like super close to me I'm gonna go later tonight and just do an exchange so I got shade 2.5 I need shade 4 and then I got a blush I open it and it's so beautiful it's a liquid blush and I'm like this looks broken and then I go to search up the product like what is this supposed to look like because I was so confused and it was a pump so the pump was lodged up into the cap of it we literally tried everything like said tried to get it out like just to make it work now I have to go exchange both of the products so that was like the biggest Sephora fail ever it's not their fault at all okay you guys Seb searched up how to fix this blush because I guess it's normal that NARS products are defective like that and get stuck I fixed it so I don't have to return it because I called the store and they said they didn't have any more so I was literally gonna return it I was gonna be so sad because it's so pretty you guys this is the NARS orgasm blush but it's liquid thank you Sebastian you are literally the most amazing person we're gonna go back tonight and we're gonna exchange we're gonna get everything we need for the trip and we're gonna look glowy on the beach I'm just so ready a good majority of my diet every day is fruit and I share it with Callie the ones that she can have and she fucking loves it and she's a healthy pup I like to give her a little nanner that's her favorite and she loves some blueberries and sometimes oranges and strawberries here and there but never grapes never grapes don't feed your dog grapes I guess that's like really bad so I'm gonna go to Sephora and I'm gonna go get my correct match I'm gonna make sure it's my match and I'm gonna grab it I'm gonna be on my merry fucking way all right we are making our return I hate that I have to vlog this on my phone and we are going to Sephora how beautiful it is here you guys oh the next day okay it is the next day and I went to Sephora last night and I'm not gonna try any of these products on right now I'm gonna do that in the Mexico vlog so stay tuned and subscribe I am so incredibly excited for this product sponsor me if you want Ilya if you're watching this <laughs> this is a super serum skin tint it's broad spectrum SPF 40 sunscreen hydrating natural protection with niacinamide squalene and hyaluronic acid so this is like a skincare skin tint in one and since I stopped like breaking out majorly and realized I really like my skin tone. I like my skin in general. So I don't want like a full face of makeup anymore. This is the one that I found. And I got my correct color, which is ST4 Formosa. I'm so excited to have this much sunscreen in like a makeup product. I never used to wear sunscreen. And now my face lotion has 15 SPF and then this having 40. I feel like that's a solid amount of coverage, especially for like vacation on the beach. So this is like perfection for being on the beach all day, being out in Mexico in the sunshine, all that good stuff. When you are watching this video, it's probably Thursday and we're leaving Sunday. So your girl is back. Get ready, subscribe, follow me on every everything and thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed these little vlogs let me know if there's anything else you want to see from me i will definitely put it in my video notes i love you guys so much i hope you have an amazing rest of your day and i will see your lovely beautiful faces in my next video bye guys